Hey y'all, this is Ranger Jonah with DeKalb County and I am wearing chest waders. So what I'm doing, and I need to give you a heads up on this, is that I found a dead animal. Um, I need to move it so it's not quite right in the view from the boardwalk, but I wanna show you about it so we can observe this creature more closely. The animal that died is a common snapping turtle. Now, this is not the one that died, and I'll show you why. Here is a picture that was taken in these very wetlands about three years ago. But do you see that scar on top of this turtle's head? That's how I know that the one that died is not this particular one. I find these creatures just incredible. So first of all, they look super prehistoric, well, at least to me. And in fact, this particular species, the common snapping turtle, evolved over 90 million years ago. Unlike other turtles, it can't pull its body fully inside its shell. So let's go see the one that I found that's no longer living. So I'm gonna show it to you and just remember what I said at the beginning, if you're not into uh, deceased animals, you should just turn this one off. See how there's no scar on the back of this turtle's head? That's how I know for sure it's not the one that I took those videos of three years ago. All right, so we know it's a common snapping turtle Partially because of the size, it's, it's, it's big. You're like, here's my hand. It's a large turtle, but it's not as large as an alligator snapping turtle. But the biggest difference that we know is, the, um, is how almost spiky and cornice this shell would be. So let's look at it more closely. The snap of the turtle's beak is how it gets its name, but its sharp jaws are mostly used for cutting food. It's claws. Check out that foot. And those claws. These are mostly used for getting around and holding down its prey. Now I'm gonna roll it over. So what predator killed this common snapping turtle? Though otters and raccoons have been known to prey on them, I'm guessing it was likely a coyote. You can see where whatever animal killed it, ate all of its guts out. This bony part in the middle that's called the plastrum, uh, it's rather small for a turtle. And because it can't pull its body all the way into its shell, it's evolved really thick skin with lots of little plates of armor to protect it. Finally, let's look at this tail. <laughs> if you didn't know that wasn't a dragon or a dinosaur, <laughs> Sure could be, right? Want more common snapping turtle facts? I'll link to another video I made in the description below. So what to do with a dead animal like this? Well, because we're in a nature preserve, uh, nothing really. Uh, I'm not gonna leave it in the middle of the wetland, uh, but we'll leave it in a place where uh, animals and microorganisms can do their work on it. Um, and eventually, uh, you know, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, um, this uh, common snapping turtle will become part of the environment again and will help feed um, then the next generation of the food chain. This is Ranger Jonah with DeKalb County. I'll see you next time.